For the first challenge, go over to Sweaty Sands and make your way to the pier at the middle. Once you're here, dance on top of this dance floor for 10 seconds. That should be challenge number one. For challenge number two, make your way to Pleasant Park. Once you're here, collect the rings on the outer part. You can find them at the end and start of each zipline connected to the windmills. Make your way up. Collect all four. I highly suggest landing on top of the windmills so that you can get the chests and defend yourself against whoever comes by. The fifth ring is going to be the fifth ring is going to be underneath this one roof. Once you're here, get down and well, okay then. Challenge number three is going to be a Misty Meadows. Grab yourself a boat. Make your way over to this timer right here. Stop right underneath it while in a boat and the 15 second timer should start. Once it does, all you have to do is drive over and enter every ring you see. It's going to ask you to drive around, it's going to ask you to jump. Overall it shouldn't be hard. For challenge number 4, you're going to have to drop from the bus and onto Frenzy Farm and get yourself top 25. To easily finish this challenge, all you have to do is drop here from the bus at a Team Rumble match. Once you do so, all you have to do is leave the game and that should be the challenge done. For challenge number 5, make your way to Salty Springs and open up 7 chests. Best house around should be this one right here. 3 chests easily obtainable if you land from the top, make your way here and then down to the basement. Next up is Holly Hedges. For this one, you need to get three kills. Oh, vending machine. Challenge number seven is at Rickety Rig. For this one, collect 200 metal. Your main source of metal should be these small piles scattered around. You can use these two islands over here, but I do recommend this one because of the amount of metal that's around. These two are just a bit lacking. Shouldn't be too much, but of course the competition is going to make it harder. Go over to Steamy Stacks and open up 7 ammo boxes to finish challenge number 8. I'm not sure which building is the best, but I would assume the biggest one is. So, Kevolution Energy Building should be your best bet. 7 ammo boxes and then moving on to the last challenge of this week. For the last challenge, make your way to the Authority and deal 500 damage to enemies. Now, this one should be hard, but if you end up with a Team Rumble Circle, it should end very, very easily. And that should be all 9 challenges for week number 4.